so you know I like playing games and right now I just have my gaming PC with you know the monitor and if I want to play anything else I just use that same monitor. Now don't get me wrong the colors and everything it's a uh, LG Ultra Gear. The monitor itself looks great. I just wanted something a little bigger. Now uh, then you know I started looking at TVs and even on sale for Black Friday. TVs are nowhere near you know as cheap as I'd like them to be. So you know I started looking for alternatives. Just have a bigger screen you know do split screen co-op you know play with other people. And that's whenever I came across this. So this is the Hap Run projector. It's the name of the uh, listing on Amazon. And this is a 1080p 60Hz projector. So basically the specs of your normal TV. And you know you can get pretty much like a 100 plus inch screen out of it. And it's only 60 bucks. So you know I was immediately you know intrigued and I went ahead and ordered one. Just going around the unit here. First of all we have a sensor for the remote on the front. And then on this side we have a figure 8 power in. So the power supply is inside, which is nice. We have another IR blaster on the back. Two USB ports, which is something to connect phones, apparently. Headphone, AV input, and they do include the AV adapter for the AV input. And HDMI in, which is, you know, probably what most people are going to be using. And then over here is the exhaust, and whenever the projector bulb is actually on, you can kind of see in there a little better. But there actually is, like, heat pipes. Like, it looks like a pretty complex situation in there. Over here is our actual bulb, which, you know, I have the lens on right now. The uh, lens cover, sorry. Uh, but, you know, not much to talk about there. And then here's our little brand, Hap Run. So this is a LED projector, 75 watts, you know, variable from 110 to 240 volt. And you can tripod mount it. I actually have a little stand thing that I'm going to show you guys in a minute. It's uh, just a projector stand. It looks more like a music stand, but uh, it, yeah. It's what Amazon had. You'd probably be better off ceiling mounting this because a ceiling mount for a light projector like this is probably like 10 bucks, but yeah. So right here is your focus adjustment and then right here's your keystone adjustment. The keystone adjustment makes either the top or the bottom of the image in focus. And on more expensive projectors, you can focus the left and right side of the image. Not on this one, it's a cheaper projector. And then right here is just taking the whole image in and out of focus. And yeah. And the settings on this thing, it's really simplistic. You just have like a couple color presets, your inputs, like there's really not a lot going on, but it works. So here's the included remote. It actually didn't come with batteries, so I stole some batteries from this on TV box remote, but it takes triple A's, you know, just FYI. So the remote, it has all the settings that you need on it, and you can adjust the volume, which I forgot to mention. This thing does have built-in speakers. I'm not entirely sure, so this 100% is an exhaust vent, so I'm not sure if that's a speaker and that's a speaker. I think that might just be an intake vent. I think just the one in the back is a speaker. I'm actually going to check that in a minute. But anyway, we have all of our basic controls, volume, um, aspect ratio adjustment, input, settings. So these two buttons actually do the exact same thing. So yeah, there you go. And it might not be the highest quality project in the world, but I'm happy with it. Now the remote, on the other hand, is extremely flimsy. I had went to press the power button, and I'm lightly pressing that, and see how much it's bending. I could absolutely break this with my bare hands if I wanted to. I, I'd like to have a remote, though, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, just know that the remote for this thing is very, very flimsy. I'm sure it's some sort of universal cheap remote, like you can use whatever. But it does not feel that great, to be honest with you. Projector itself, while not super light actually does feel made relatively well. So let's actually get to the part that you guys came here for. You know, should you replace or, you know, instead of buying a TV, get a, you know, projector instead. FYI, uh, gonna be switching to the phone mic for the rest of this. So expect a decrease in quality, but whatever, let's do it. So I almost forgot to mention, this is the projector screen that it comes with. It is so incredibly thin that the image actually just goes completely through it. Uh, if you're getting a projector like this one, I would recommend looking into buying a aftermarket screen because the one that it includes is it's total garbage. It actually 100% looked better on just straight up the dark wall. So this is the screen that I have. It's a retired one from an old office building that I ended up getting. So I only have it stretched up to about this high because you know the projector will fill in all of this, you know, perfectly well. It is super wide, and I don't really know how much something like this would cost, maybe 50, 60 bucks, but it's really heavy and unlike the cheap one that they include, no light or none of the picture is going to bleed through that. So, you know, we're going to get to how that looks in a second. Alright, so here's a little stand I bought. I probably should have ceiling mounted it for, you know, much cheaper, but this stand right here was like $30 and it's really sturdy and whatnot. So yeah, we're just going to run with that. 
So over here we have the power and it has an inbuilt power supply. So you know it's just a single cord. On the rear we have the HDMI. And yes. So I don't think I mentioned this yet. But this uh, from edge to edge of the actual projection is roughly a 100 inch screen. This roll up screen is much much bigger. And as you can see I do have some adjustment to do. I did have it perfectly straight. But I took it off the stand to show you guys uh, the actual projector itself. So I need to fix that again, but oh well. But yeah, honestly, the colors are a little washed out because it's a projector and you're projecting onto a white surface. So it's going to wash all the colors out. But let's get into a game. So right here we have Cyberpunk 2077. Just, you know, opening on the projector screen. Like I said, the actual color accuracy on a gaming monitor will be much better. But with something like this, you can play four player split screen games and still have gigantic chunks of screen for each player. Or if you just want to kick back and not use your monitor and play on something like this, you know you can. So here's wherever I left off in Cyberpunk. Alright, so right now we're in Cyberpunk, uh, just kind of running around wherever I left off at. And brightness and whatnot could be better, but honestly, for 60 bucks you can't complain. There are a few different options, so obviously I just hit volume right there. So there's 16 by 9 full, just scan. 4x3, but we're just going to leave it on 16x9. The projector's on the complete opposite wall, but pointing at the projector screen, you know, it still works. So the different picture modes and stuff, so right now it's on dynamic. Just brightens it up a little bit compared to standard. Standard, everything's kind of dark. Dynamic, it brightens up stuff a little bit. I have color temperature on warm, but you put on medium or cool, but medium already seems a little cool. Then you could actually lower the projection zoom to have a smaller picture but I just have it on 100% right off the bat. And then there's a few other settings like sound settings, and it actually does have Bluetooth to connect to Bluetooth speakers and stuff, which surprised me. And then this is the home menu of it. If you plug in a flash drive with videos or movies or pictures, you can play them here. And this settings thing does the exact same thing as this settings button and this settings button. It all takes you to the same place. Now Cyberpunk isn't that bright of a game, so let's switch to something a little more colorful. To see a switching the projector, you would, you know, actually pay off in some way. So right here we have Super Mario 3D World, which is a much brighter and much more colorful game. And I feel like for, you know, like a Nintendo Switch and party games, Mario Kart, uh, Super Mario, whatever, this would work really good for stuff like that. So, you know, this is where I left off. But with how dim Cyberpunk looks, it's just because color-wise and theme-wise it's a much darker game. The projector really seemed to be underperforming, but as you can see with Mario 3D World here, we have a pretty bright 100 inch screen that we can play on, and uh, you know, everything works great. And assuming that you had, you know, some other people from Mario Kart or whatever, you could do split screen and each have a giant area of the screen, because once again, this is about 100 inches from corner to corner. For 60 bucks, it's a lot cheaper and gives you a much bigger screen than a lot of TVs at that price point. Obviously, you are going to have to get a nice screen because the screen that they include is garbage, but something like this is probably 50 bucks. So at the end of the day, if you have the wall space and you want to get a screen to play on on the cheap, a, you know, projector like this on Amazon is only 60 bucks. And uh, it's a lot cheaper than a TV, and in my opinion, it's a much better option because you get a bigger screen. And it takes up a lot less space and just all kind of other stuff. So drop a comment down below if, you know, you'd be interested in running a setup like this. And, uh, yeah, I hope this helps you guys out and, you know, whether or not you should play on a projector. That's all for me. I'm out. Peace.